So this is all the electrical stuff I need for my dual battery system, other than my battery which is in the shed. I've got 100 amp hour uh, Narva Twin Core for getting from the car battery to the charger and then to the um, lithium. I've got twin 15 amp for just running to all the accessories. And some plugs, uh, fuse holders, plus two 50 amp hour fuses to go in them. I've got two switch panels, one four and one five. Got my fuse holder with lights in it that come on when the fuse blows, which is kind of handy, just for fine stuff. Um, USB and 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet. Just all my terminals. Uh, another pile of fuses. Got my heat shrink. White LEDs and amber LED strips from the doors. My red up BC DC core 40 charger. Um, heaps of curry running on the cable and my 2000 watt red arc inverter. So with my setup, um, my canopy already has this input here for the Anderson plug, but as that's just for the um, keyless entry, what I'll do is I'll be cutting this off the power input here, be wiring that across here to my battery, and then I'll drill these holes bigger from my 100 amp cable, which they'll then go out through the side and then go up to the charger.
finally finished like putting this all together and wiring it all up. The only thing I'm missing, or I haven't wired up yet, is my 2000 watt inverter, as I'm still waiting the cable for that. But as you can see, I've got my iTech World 120 amp hour lithium battery. I've got my Victron Smart Shunt in there to monitor. I've got a solar input here. I've got my inverter, and I've got my switch panel up here. So I've got my LEDs in here, white light, as you can see, and then red light, or amber light, sorry. That's for when the bugs are around, you don't want to attract them. Got my 40 amp um, red arc charger there, Core 40. Got my fuse holder in there. I've just got um, my LEDs and all that wired up in the um, keyless entry wired up at the moment. I haven't wired up fridge, which will be the next thing that'll go in this space here on a drop down fridge slide but I'm awaiting that in the post as well so that'll be the next video. As we come over this other side you can see I've got a five um, gang switch panel. First one's amber lights, second one is white lights, third one is this USB and 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet panel up above it. Um, the reason I've had to put this so high is because I'll have my fridge in this space here which will slide out and then drop down on drop down fridge slides so that's why i've had to put it up this high for room to make it fit otherwise it'll be in there and you can't access it when the fridge is in so yeah now i gotta put it back on the car and see if it actually charges now this isn't reading correctly because i've actually still got it set to the agm battery specs that i had in the float because that's where i had this victor on smart shine originally but the good thing is it shows you like um, your amp draw, so that's with LEDs on. It um, but it'll normally have your um, battery percentage up here, and also your consumed amp hours and how long it's going to take for them to get flat. But as I haven't set the settings up correctly yet, um, it's not reading all that. I thought I'd just give you a quick, quick show now of how handy they are, and they're Bluetooth, so I can obviously be in the in the car and watching it, and monitoring everything while we're driving along. Power again put in, power being used by the free GTC.